Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I figured let me make this video out and uh, show you guys what I'm working on. A uh, little background, uh, some of you may know and you've seen the videos, I'll even link them below. I actually have a Logan A25 that I restored from basically rust. And uh, some of the gears for the uh, gearbox transmission basically. So these are the gears that are in the headstock. Um, well, on the spindle behind the headstock that actually transmit power all the way down to the gearbox. So you can actually have powered uh, lead screw and cut threads with it and things like that. So this thing has a quick change gearbox. Problem is the top gears have broken teeth. This is the worst of them. And this has about, I don't know, four broken teeth. Two here, one here, one here. So, that's not good. Initially, I wanted to uh, basically just fill this in with bronze weld. And then use the shaper to cut the teeth. Which I may still do that because, well, I like cast iron uh, gears. And uh, I think this can actually be fixed instead of you know just ordering a new one and these things are ungodly expensive they're like eighty dollars a piece or something like that so that that's a bit out of my budget right now so what i decided to do is since these are actually sitting in the low stress portion of the transmission uh... i decided to you know use the diametral pitch as well as the tooth count uh, as well as the pressure angle that's standard on Logan's which is 14 and a half degrees pressure angle 16 diametral pitch um, I used that plugged it into a utility in Fusion 360 and three tries later I got this which is this is actually a good fitting gear it's the same size right number of teeth so what happened was first time it was kind of like a Goldilocks deal right first time was too small because I only use 25 teeth this is a 30 tooth gear second time I made a 30 tooth gear but it's a bit oversized and I think it has to do with the slicing software is um, well, freaking out on this so I shrunk it down by about 10 percent and we got this so this is actually as far as the 3d printed part uh, this is perfect I still haven't cleaned it up and I will and uh, there's two of these gears that need to be replaced in there so they're both exactly the same I did the first one this is the second one I'll show you the 3d printing time-lapse
Well, this is the part. There's another gear. This one's only have the two teeth missing. And this is one of the 3D printed gears. Actually, it runs pretty smooth the way it is. But in for a penny in for a pound. And uh, now I gotta push this out and install this gear. Well, this is the mandrel, so it got pressed out. There's a bronze bushing here as well. And I could have designed these with the allowances to press in a bronze bushing, but this is more of a test than anything else. So, get this to fit in there, hopefully. There we go. Pretty darn good fit, actually. And, uh, seems to be meshing in just fine. Needs a little bit of a break in. But, I'm actually quite happy with this so far. We'll see how it looks like on the lathe. Alrighty, see you in a second. I figured I might as well show the assembly here. Here's the two gears. They rotate. On here. And it goes into this bore. This is a bushing here. And the way it's supposed to go, it's supposed to literally go in this way. And now it's locked in place and this should spin freely because it's neither forward nor reverse. So we got this bracket, which obviously everything here is covered in oil, so uh, getting a little dirty is uh, part of the game it seems. And, uh, that bracket is what holds this whole assembly together. You can actually see the little tachometer sensor on the side. I'm trying to get the holes lined up. That's lined up. That's one. Two. I believe that's lined up. Ooh, yeah. Now, screwdriver. This assembly is actually pretty easy. I'm not sure how this lathe broke those gears, but I assume they made those gears out of cast iron instead of steel, like a lot of the other gears seem to be. Uh, so that they're a bit more brittle and they save the rest of the environment. Fortunately, these gears are expensive. So, new technology. Is this meshed in properly? Yes, it is. And there's your. Gear stack. Give it a good spin. Let's put it in reverse because that's the one that engages this gear, engages this, then engages the main shaft. Let's see how it runs. Okay, let's see how it runs in the other direction. Oops, not yet in gear. There we go. Pretty good. Time will tell how durable these are. Time will tell how durable these are. I'm planning on actually running these 
on empty anyway for a while while I do other things with the lathe so they actually break in uh, they have to break in on the shafts over here so they actually probably run a little bit smoother and as well as the teeth because it's plastic on plastic on steel on steel I don't know how that's gonna work out but at the end of the day I've seen entire mills with uh, plastic gears so I don't see why this wouldn't work all right thanks for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like button or dislike if you don't like this you know uh, let me know oh comment below if you have anything constructive to say bye